Kelly celebrating his 20-year love affair with New Zealand. It is his seventh tour down this way, and he proposed to his wife here in a restaurant in Kaikoura. So he's practically a Kiwi. We've heard that marvellous accent already. Please welcome <laughs> to the Cafe International comic sensation, Ed Byrne. Yay! Yay. Yay. I like lo love affair makes the whole thing sound slightly illicit. It like, does, a little tiny bit. Like, like the UK bit. doesn't know I'm down here. <laughs> <laughs> well, we love it when you have that little affair with us. We're like you? your mistress, 20 years. 20 years since I first came here. I feel so old now, now yeah, that you've said that. Don't worry, yeah, we're <laughs> so all in the same boat Half with you. a lifetime away. Yeah, I know, and I keep coming back. What draws you, know? you back here? I know, I, do you know what? And I'll be honest, like when I first started coming here, I'd go to Australia first and tend to do longer there, and then do, you do like a week or two then in New Zealand, and then slowly but surely, the, the last time I went to Australia, then came to New Zealand, and I went, why am I even doing Australia? I, 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 I do much better in New Zealand, and, oh. and now I'm one of the few people who skips out Australia completely. <laughs> I fly over and go, <laughs> and, uh, I love it. And just, and just come here, which I think on its own is probably a, a USP. And that is exactly why New Zealand likes it. Right. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's quite crowd pleasing. I know I'm, I'm, I'm playing to the. I'm playing, I, I feel like I've got lowest common denominator straight away. Yeah. <laughs> and Australia can go suck. Yeah. And we love it. So you proposed to your wife in Kaikoura. Yeah. Uh, at yeah. a restaurant that's no longer there because of the. Yeah, well, like, at the time she was my girlfriend. Yeah. Proposing to my wife would have been poor. That would have been a bit weird, yeah. Um, yeah, it did. And she actually said no for a joke, because she's hilarious. <laughs> um, and then that became the closing. Oh, did your heart sink when she said oh, that? Don't. And it yeah, became the closing bit to the following tour. <laughs> the next show then was all about, the, 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 the last routine was all about that thing of, of asking to marry me and her saying no, and the, where my brain went. You know. <laughs> no, because it's your biggest fear. You know, if you're yeah. asking somebody to marry them and they say no, yeah. for that split second, your and, world must crumble. And she genuinely, she goes, no, and I went, what? And she goes, no, I can't marry And she tears. And she like pushes the ring back towards me and goes, I can't marry her. Oh. But in my head, and then she goes, I'm only joking. <laughs> but in my head, in that split second, in my head, I was off. In my head, I was like, oh, she didn't want to marry me. That's a shame. Well, we may as well break up now. What do I do? Should I, I'll buy her out of the house, or maybe we'll sell the house and split the money, or maybe I'll get myself a bachelor pad. Maybe I'll move off to the state. Maybe I'll go to Vegas. Maybe I'll, I'll do what I like. I'll do what the hell I want with my life. I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Let's get So tell us about the show that you're, that you're down here with this time. Uh, this one's called Out Outside looking in, mm. and it's I called it that because um, I, I feel as a comedian sometimes I feel like I don't really live a, a life. I watch everybody else living theirs, and then I sort of report back and write down the funny bits. Yeah, mm. and so there's a lot of stuff in it actually about being a comedian. There's a lot of, like I open with tales about dying on stage, okay. which is a <laughs> quite a grim thing about. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just, that crowd up straight put, away. Yeah, it puts the crowd on edge straight away. Where you're talking about it's like showing up on a date and going, I hope this goes well. Here's a picture of two women who've slapped me in the face. <laughs> I do, I talk about dying, and I talk about, I talk about doing interviews. Right. So yeah, so if you do come, don't take anything personally, but okay. I do talk about, in fact, there's a whole story I talk about from the, the last time I was here, and I was on a show with a guy, I don't know, if I, I, Paul Henry. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So I do a whole tale about how I did a show with him, and he interviewed, and, and things went very badly wrong. Oh, and I have a whole I tale about yeah. it. Oh. So, uh, no, but you, what yeah. do you notice about, apart from, you know, when you're getting interviewed by Paul Henry, what, what else <laughs> do you notice about Kiwis? Is there anything that you can identify us with? A unique selling point? I tell you what I have? find most interesting is that I've never been to a country like this one where, compared, and this is not a huge humorous observation, but it's right. something that I have known, <laughs> is that uh, the difference between a midweek audience and a weekend audience is drastically different. What, like raucousness? Yeah, like in the same venue, the same amount of people, but a Friday, Saturday night, Incredible, and then just, it's almost like the people are out and like, and they're just like, we shouldn't even be out. It's a school night, I've got to get up. It's, yeah. it's terrible. I, know, I, think, <laughs> I think I know what that is with Kiwis. <laughs> they all drink it before well, the yeah, show. I guess you just don't drink midweek or something like that. <laughs> no, I was well, responsible. Yeah. Yeah. I remember being here a few, few years ago and, and going out on stage and trying to get everybody G'd up, you know, for a Tuesday night. Like, come on, Tuesday, come on, we, we don't care that we got work in the morning, come on. And they all just kind of sat there, did not get on board with the hey, it's mm, Tuesday no, thing. Thanks. And yeah. then I only realised after the show that it was Wednesday. <laughs> only after I got off the stage. But nobody said a word. Which again, classic Kiwi. Everybody just sitting there going, the What's it called? It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. <laughs> nice work. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, he's doing a, um, a great fundraiser for Kai Korda as well. Like, it's a free well, gig. Well, it's not a fundraiser. It? Yeah, it's a free, free gig. Because yeah, I said, cause, yeah, because yeah. I got engaged, so I got, had a special place in my heart. So nice. I'm just going down and doing a gig for. Few people who are people who have been helping out with the recovery, and also some people who are just sort of oh, down yeah. on their luck. Just yeah. cheer people up. No, well, you yeah. are a good man. And for more details on that, and for tickets to Ed's New Zealand tour, you can check out comedy.co.nz. Yeah, thank you so much, Ed. Cheers.